So the 10 bands in Mythic rank and above is finally here. They have been discussing it for a long time, and honestly, I kinda like this idea. There are just too many OP heroes that make it hard to pick a great variety of heroes that are considered no meta. One thing that I totally don't understand about this new draft system is why the bands have to be covered like this. Like why allow duplicate bands? What is the purpose of this? What is the meaning of life? If somebody knows the developer's reasoning, let me know in the comment section. Anyway, talking about no meta heroes, in this one I will be playing a super underrated mage that kind of got even more forgotten after the small nerf on the item ice cream wand. Let's go out and play! I actually really enjoy playing Chang Wu because of her ability to clear away fast from a safe distance, which is really important in the late game if your team is on the back foot. Also, she can steal the opponent's buff quite easily if you're sneaky enough and know your timing. My counterpart was Nana in this match, and I know that Chang Wu should be able to easily win the trades in the early game. That's why I will try to poke her fairy cheeks as much as I can. She is definitely feeling my constant pokes. Maybe I could try to be a nuisance to the jungler and steal some of her jungle creeps. Well, but I found something even better than your some small fry creeps. I actually didn't expect they would come in for this kill, but it was definitely an oopsie moment. A lot of Nana users think that because she has that immortality passive that she is truly mortal and plays very carelessly. It's okay, it's better that the core gets the kill in the early game, it's all about the great good for the team. Just wait till I get glowing wand, with just that one item, that's gonna be a huge power spike. Remember to keep looking at the map non-stop. Johnson is trying to ult. I had a choice to ult their buff or the turtle. And obviously, the turtle was more important. If you see something, say something. 
Your teammates will definitely appreciate that. Never mind, she still got caught. But at least he's distracted them long enough for us to get the most important turret in the game. Now that I got growing want, melting tanks isn't a problem anymore. Their orange buff is up. Most likely, the younger will take this now. Meanwhile, I will wait for the purple buff. This impeccable planning. Easiest buff of my life. Okay. What the? I will go for this Johnson, but I knew Lunox was right behind him. Honestly, I don't think Lunox as the jungler is that optimal anymore. I think she's better off as the mid laner, or even as the EXP laner. Chang'o is seriously underrated. By the way, this new Nana Dragon Skin second skill is really cute. I will have to play her soon. Also because of the buff she got recently. I don't know why I thought I was gonna be fine, but at least now the game is not that one-sided.
There's no need to go back. We can just keep farming kills. XD. Instead of aiming at their front line, I will find a good angle to shoot at their DPS instead. Oh man, Yin kept stealing my triples. So what do you guys think about the new 10 heroes bans? Is this a good implementation or that's too many heroes being banned? I personally like this new ban system. Victory! Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and see ya.